Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries for the month of October 2017. So this is for uh, Aries moon, sun and rising. Uh, I've been shuffling for quite a while now, but let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of October. Okay, Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the month of October 2017? Show me their energies and what's coming to them, what will unfold for the month of October 2017. For those of you guys interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So, I think this is the last shuffle, Aries. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Your first card is the Six of Pentacles, the Empress, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, wow, one right after the other, Five of Coins, the Devil, the Five of Wands, ooh, the Tower, the Eight of Coins, Seven of Coins, Ten of Coins, and the Ace of wands okay so your general and wow okay all right so let's get into your reading aries for the middle or sorry for the month of october you have the nine of cups as a general energy so the nine of cups what it represents or what it brings to you as a general energy is abundance um you're going to start to experience uh, a lot of momentum when it comes to finances. Uh, it could be people paying you off loans, people that owe you money. It could be uh, if you're trying to get a loan, it's an approval for a loan. Uh, the Nine of uh, Pentacles also represents uh, singlehood. So for you Aries out there that are currently single, that's the energies that you're going into the month of October. Um, although I do see a... Uh, beginning stages of, of a new passion, a new desire, or a new person. So let's get into your reading. So you have the six of coins here, six of pentacles. The six of pentacles represents um, the give and take. That's the charity card. So there is definitely a person that you're very um, either attracted to or that, or that you're having a connection with. Uh, the Empress, it's a representation of a person. Uh, the energies of the Empress could represent a person that is very confident in themselves, very abundant. Uh, they're very great when it comes to business and creativity. Uh, they evoke this type of energy that is that of, again, like I said, a femininity, um, you know, just it's, it's a beautiful energy. Now, this could be a representation of what your expectations are, meaning the six of coins is the charity card. It's the give and take, uh, but you're going towards the month, towards the empress. So the empress is, again, like I said, it could be goals that you have that you're trying to achieve. Now, you do have the king of cups here and the queen of cups, and um, this represents a partnership or a connection with a person. Could be of a water sign. Um, the water sign would be a Scorpio, uh, Pisces, or Cancer, um, and this is a, the this type of energy. You know, uh, the King and Queen of Cups are in the upright position, or when they come and they are not being represented by the shadow side, um, they have very beautiful qualities. They are very giving, very nurturing, understanding. Um, you know, they have very strong empathy and compassion for people, not just the people that they care, but as a general or as a whole. So there is definitely a partnership here because, again, like I said, you could be represented by the king or queen. This is a general reading. So what I mean by that is obviously Aries are fire signs, but uh, you may be coming up in this reading as either the king or the queen and the person coming towards you 
is that of your equal or that of um, someone that is mentally and spiritually in the same path that you are or have the same values and same understanding when it comes to partnerships and relationships, okay? So that's a beautiful thing. Rarely uh, do the king and queen uh, mirror one, enoth one another. Um, so this is definite, even if they're not of a water sign, uh, meaning if they're not a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they can take on these attributes uh, as you could be represented as the King of Cups, for example. You don't necessarily, obviously you're a fire sign, but you could be more prone for the month of October to be very uh, in control of your emotions, focused, uh, know when to give, you know, understanding when to give a feedback, uh, when to even offer uh, constructive criticism, etc. You're very tactful in your way you express yourself. So anyways, um, moving from that, you have the five of coins here. So the five of coins could be feeling like you were left out in the cold. It could have been by a Capricorn because the devil card is uh, right next to the five of cups. Sorry, the five of coins and the five of coins. Again, like I said, it's the feeling of you were left out in the cold or there was some type of like they're not giving you the attention. They're not giving you they're not giving you the focus anymore. And here's the thing. Um this could have been uh, for some of you, both male or females, this is a general reading, but for some of you, what this could represent is that initially um, you started off this connection where you both were on the same page, you both were pretty much vibing off of each other, and then the five of, uh, of pentacles, the five of coins next to the devil, again, it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, um, perhaps got a little bit of a cold feet, <laughs> so to speak, and you can't really pinpoint what exactly happened, but there was a dynamic here that shifted or changed. Um, and the reason for this is the five of wands. So the five of wands is definitely other people trying to get the attention of this Capricorn, if in fact you are dealing with the Capricorn. Um, a lot of people pulling on them, uh, either when it comes to work or when it comes to like actually people that are genuinely interested in them. Um, there's a lot of people coming in and coming out. Five of Wands is always uh, people trying to fight for your attention. In this case, fighting for this devil card, which is that of uh, the devil or like I said, a Capricorn uh sun moon or rising so again that could be the reason what's what's going on right now now um in another aspect what could be represented here with the devil and the five of wands could be that they're extremely focused when it comes to their business or when it comes to uh what they do as far as money wise and they're so focused on it that you know they may be dealing with a lot of people and that's consuming a lot of their time now the tower is here and it's right next to the five of wands. So the the tower uh, is obviously something something major, something that is sudden, something that is unexpected. And I feel that um, this could have been something of like truth coming out or them getting some type of feedback from you or is something that changed their perspective completely of how they see you or how they think of you. And the reason why I say that is because the tower is right under the Queen of Cups. So again, um, I think more than anything, there is definitely a shift in dy dynamics here. There's a, a, a change, something that happened very sudden or very quickly. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single and in fact are not dealing with a Capricorn, uh, what this is being represented with the devil, the devil card is always about addiction. So it could be sexual addictions, alcoholism, substance abuse, anything like that. And with the five of coins, it's uh, partly to do with the fact of perhaps when you got out of this relationship uh, being represented by the king and queen of cups, um, you know, or your past uh, partnership that you were in previously, um, there is a lot of, I guess when you're connected with someone on a deeper level, it's harder to move on or detach yourself from the situation, even though it's came to, to a halt or it's ended. Um, and the five of cups, uh, sorry, the five of coins, again, is being represented as 
you felt like you know the ending of the relationship was so sudden that you were left with a lot of questions even hopes maybe that they would be returning now the devil card again could be a representation of you go from being left out in the cold to either suppressing those feelings whether it's through like serial dating having a lot of sexual partners um exploring your sexuality um being tied to even people that perhaps uh, have substance abuse or alcoholism or addictions whatever it may be uh, and you kind of did this uh, because the five of uh, the five of the wands is right next to the devil it could have been just because kind of like that notion of I don't want to be by myself I'd rather be surrounded by a lot of people um, and just focus more on the chaos that's going on um, outside of you versus going within because there is a struggle that perhaps you don't want to accept or you don't want to admit to yourself okay so again like I said the tower is something very sudden so it could be that the shift if you are in fact dealing with uh, someone and and it came to a halt again the tower definitely talks about the eruption and the breakage of everything that no longer serves you to be able to finally start anew and be able to build on something more stable. Now you do have the eight of pentacles here, the eight of coins. So the eight of coins is definitely talking about working towards a goal or working towards this relationship um, or this partnership uh, that may be happening. Now the seven is right next to the eight. So this is being re in the practical sense what this is saying is basically you have to put effort into any type of relationship whether it's partnerships with business wise or whether it's in relationships you cannot expect the other person just to give it 100 percent. it's a give and take um but of course it has to be balanced as in the beginning of your reading it's the charity card meaning the give and take um you know being able to cooperate and work together now the eight of um pentacles with the seven of pentacles it's you can definitely move forward and there may be uh something by the end of the month where you both become clear on what it is that you want and if you guys decide to move forward then the eight of uh coins and the seven of coins is actually looking towards wanting to achieve uh the foundation of this connection or this relationship meaning if you guys are currently dating it's going to go to you know a relationship uh etc but again be practical in this in this um in this i'm laughing because i know in aries and uh there's a conversation about practicalities and i know aries tend to overlook the practicalities and they're very quick because you guys are impulsive by nature but again in order to be able to manifest that which is of a long term or something that is worth holding on to you have to put effort in it okay the eight of pentacles is all about you know putting uh the effort um putting you know what is necessary for you to for for putting that what's necessary in order for the other person to know that you're interested in them and vice versa with the seven is like you're looking towards the future uh focusing or wanting to manifest that long-term relationship or partnership whatever this may be because it is a general reading now at the end of the month you do have the ten of pentacles and the ace of wands so there's definitely abundance here uh, abundance coming in a lot of you guys may be dealing again like i said with earth signs so earth signs would be a capricorn a taurus uh, or a virgo uh, some of you guys may be dealing with water signs as well pisces uh, cancer um, scorpio and for some you guys are currently dealing with earth signs but what you're leaving behind is that of water signs because the king and queen are up there and that's in the beginning so it could be residue energy from the month uh previous so it'd be you know september so again like i said uh the ten of pentacles and the ace is definitely a promise for abundance and the materialization of whatever it is you're trying to achieve whether it's in the business front whether it's partnerships and relationships uh the ten uh obviously when it comes to finances and material your abundance starts to grow for the uh 
by the middle of the month all the way to the end of the month of October, you're going to be, um, like I said, you're going to be able to put money away or actually save money. Um, you know, when it comes to work, work starts to pick up, uh, even overtime, whatever it may be. But there's definitely uh, inclination towards abundance. And also for some of you guys, it could be the beginning stages by the end of the week. Sorry, by the end of the month. Uh, you guys may be getting an offer, an opportunity to grow in a uh, higher ranking position at your job uh, because you do have the Ace of Wands here. So for some of you guys, it could be the manifestation of a relationship that actually turns into um, a monogamous relationship. For others, it may be the opportunity of uh, making more money or a higher ranking position at your current job. So this is definitely a beautiful thing. Um, this is a beautiful reading. Uh, Besides the fact of, you know, what initially the tower is always something that a lot of people fear. Um, but again, the energy surrounding this tower, I think this tower has already happened. Uh, it could have been uh, the quick breakup of a previous partnership um, or it could have been the devastation of you finding out that the person you were dealing with in the past was actually connected uh, to a water sign or was dealing with someone that is, you know, the water sign. So again, like I said, uh, I feel the towers already happened. It's not nothing new. I think it may be that you guys are currently dealing with uh, what comes after that. Um, and the reason I say that is because this is how you're entering the month. Although the tower is in the center, meaning uh, the present position or what will unfold in the next coming week. Um, but again, I don't see any negative cards surrounding the tower. So this is, in fact, a beautiful uh, reading. Be careful and mindful uh, not to overindulge or not to overdo when it comes to alcohol or when it comes to drugs or anything like that uh, because the devil is there and it's next to the five of pentacles. So a lot of you guys may be um, socializing a lot where you're going to be, you know, you're going to be put... Um, or you're going to be surrounded, sorry, you're going to be surrounded with people that like to drink, etc. Just be very careful with that, not to overdo it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, share, like, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. And we will see each other at the middle of the month. Bye.